The votes have been tallied, and in case you haven't heard, you are sending our Liberal team back to work. That's right. Justin Trudeau has won a Liberal minority, which also happens to be Justin's favorite Halloween costume. <laughs> Last night, Canadians watched as a hundred CBC News anchors, led by Rosie Barton, declared victory on a Justin Trudeau hologram. In Canada, your next government will be a Liberal minority government. Upon realizing it was only a minority, Trudeau's hologram said, help me, Jagmeet Singh, you're my only hope. <laughs> After winning the debates, running the best campaign, and gaining incredible momentum, Singh's NDP lost a bunch of seats? What happened? <coughs> Quebec. <coughs> Quebec. <laughs> but it wasn't a total victory for the intolerant because Maxime Bernier lost the People's Party's only seat. What we managed to accomplish in only one year is spectacular. Yeah, the way you built and then destroyed a political party so quickly. Spectacular. <laughs> it was a rough night for the Conservatives who failed to grow their base despite all the milk Andrew Scheer drank. But he took it all in stride. The greatest honor of my life is to be a husband and dad. Oh, boy. Nobody show him the results of the dad of the year vote. <laughs> I think it was the great Elizabeth May who once said, Andrew Scheer, you will never be prime minister. But he'll probably put it on his resume anyway. So what's next? Without a majority government, parties will have to work together, which shouldn't be a problem. We put up all three leaders here, all speaking at the same time. Generally, you take your turn, and the person who wins gets to go last. Hey, coordinating speeches is hard. I'm sure they'll be able to handle the easy stuff, like fighting climate change. This election may be over, but another one looms on the horizon. And so this concludes and begins our coverage of... Compromise 2019.